Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you I have some lamps and I want they're really nice lamps and I have them for a long long time and I pay a lot a lot of money for them. So what I'm doing today, I am going to repurpose them. We're going to paint them. We're going to spray paint them. I already cleaned them off and everything and we're gonna paint them. It hurt my feelings really bad to reason them because I really like this color, but it no longer goes with my home decor. Um, then it did, but here are the lamps. So here are the lamps. It has a lot of details, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. They're huge. These are just some table foot that. What's with the lamp? I'm gonna ask that. I mean, table legs that I'm gonna paint as well, because um, I'm painting the table. So I decided to just put it here to spray paint it while I do these. But again, here is the lamp. Here's the second one. They're big. They're very big, and they're very also nice. <clears throat> so I don't want the quartz to get paint. So I have the quartz underneath there. But that's what they look like. And we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna excuse me use my rustoleum paint in the color of gold to paint these lamps so here we are guys um, here is the paint spray paint that I'm gonna be using and I am out outside guys you want to make sure when you're doing this type of project you're outside um, or in a well ventilated ventilated area okay so enough of me talking and we're just going to start spray painting. There we are. It, it hurt my feelings, honest. It does hurt my feelings. Yeah guys, I did not know where to start from because it does hurt my feelings. But what I want to say is you, when you're spray painting stuff, there is a technique to it, okay? You see how I'm holding the spray paint a distance away from the item that I'm spraying or the lamp. And then you take your time. You could either go straight or you could just go like I'm doing little by little. But you also want to make sure you're going at the same, at an angle. I don't know if I make any sense. But you can't hold it just like spraying right on it because then it's going to run or bleed. And then your, your project will turn out to be a mess. So there's a special technique, and I don't know if I'm explaining this right to you, but like you see, I'm holding it a distance. A lot of people want to hold it close because you feel like you're wasting your spray paint, but you want to hold it a distance, and you want to make sure every time you press on that nozzle, you're pressing at the same, uh, you're not holding it down and spraying it one place. And you could also hold it the whole time, but just continuously moving. You will see I do that as well, where I just continue move. As I go along, but as right now, I'm just seeing now I'm going continuous just like that. But again, I hold it a distance away. Guys, I've been under the weather with my allergy. It's out. It's it's just outrageous from this spring till now, and I still sound like hell. Oh, there's a leaf on my butt. Sorry, <laughs> but anyways, there was a lot of project going on this day, including cutting my yard. Okay, so don't come judge me. Don't come judge me. Okay, if you're judged, just keep it moving. But what I'm saying, anyways, if you are new to my channel, my name is Shayna, and on this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for coming back. Obviously, you like what you see here, and that's why you're back. So you know what? Just want to thank you guys for your continuous love and support. And there we go. We have one lamp down and the other to go with the table legs. So stay tuned because i'm going to be also having a new video coming after this video for the table so you can see how i did it okay um i just decided to put those beside them because hey any spray paint escape from the lamp will touch the leg so why not just do them on so so far this is what the lamps look like oops i missed a spot up top and don't worry don't tell me i missed a spot because i did already figure that out and once i figure it out i went ahead and sprayed but you see how smooth this lamp looks it looks really smooth so again 
I know, I know, I know. A lot of people been trying to spray paint stuff, and they said, well, it doesn't work. It's all clumpy and gunky because there's a technique to it. I've been doing spray painting for a while, so I guess I got used to it. But that happened to me when I first started doing spray paint. So there we go. I went back and I touched up the top of that lamp. I went ahead and I put two coats of paint on this lamp, and there it is. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and I'm glad I didn't sell them because I would have never made the money that I spent for them or even closed the money. And look at those. So now they look really nice. I can't wait to match, put them in the house and match them with my decor and see what it looks like. So then I went up to um, the Marshalls and I purchased these covers. Because originally the covers for those lamps was brown. It's like that umbrella looking co cover. And, and so. so I got these two and they were $16.99 each from Marshalls. Or, no, the Home Goods. I got it at Home Goods. So I went ahead and th those were already gold. So I also off camera, I spray paint the the silver sorry the silver top of the lampshade to gold so i'm putting in a bulb in and i also went to the at home store and i purchased these two things for the lamp it's like the shoe i don't i don't remember what it's called yeah i know my aunt goes you never remember anything when she watched my video she goes you never remember everything i say yeah well the thing is i do these videos and then i do a voiceover which i'm not looking at the stuff and i don't know so i just don't know i'm not gonna make up stupid stuff and say this is it when i don't know shit but anything anyways you know for me in it but you guys know what i'm talking about see here i'm showing you guys 6.99 i pay for that and the top piece right there to keep the shade in in, in um place i pay 6.99 too does that make sense that big one versus that little one 6.99 so overall this project it cost me to get these brand new lamps so let's say 17 plus seven plus seven plus seven dollars for a can of spray paint at the home depot you get a walmart for five bucks so it cost me let me see we gotta do the you do the match 17 plus 17 to 17 14 put that down that's 34 plus the 7 37 38 39 40 41 about 45 dollars overall it cost me to get my two lamps brand new one can of spray paint did it all and i have a little bit of left over and that's because again you have to know what you're doing with the technique of spray painting i could have finished the one can on one lamp because if you don't know what you're doing then that's when you waste your paint and i have no spot and everything came out nice and smooth so i'm just over there unwrapping that plastic uh it's a pain in the butt but i did so if you guys look on that really well you will see uh, where you could see where I painted on the plastic so I paint that with the plastic on I did not paint the inside who's gonna look at it so if you look at the inside right now as I'm talking it's silver but on the outside is um, gold, uh, gold so yeah I'm still trying to get over the fact that that small thing is for $7.99 versus that big one but you know it is what it is lamps ain't cheap and I would have never got a lamp that looks this nice this antique look that's coming back in for that money okay so hey 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 girl gotta do what a girl gotta do and make it match with my home decor okay so this is just me and my silly dog she she's you know you guys if you guys are new i have a dog named fiona you'll hear me talk about fiona all the time and if you're not new that's fiona i don't know she must have got into something what she does as soon as i'm not looking she try to do something that when i'm not looking to get into whatever so she must have got into something and i called her to check what's going on i'm telling her to go on the deck she don't want to listen and she has bad allergy because the spray paint uh give her the reverse bar but she don't listen that's there she goes she's out there trying to chase chickmunks rabbit on all kind of things but yeah there goes the lamp we're getting the first one together and i'm actually liking what i'm seeing i was nervous at first guys to paint these lamp into gold because i'm like i really like the bronze gold brown look but Anyways, once I put the shade on, I started liking it. And not only that, once I put it inside, it was so pretty with the wall and the table and everything. I can't wait to have that. I will share that with you guys once I'm done with that decor. So stay tuned. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so so you can see how everything turns out. But with all that I've been said, if you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also, make, you share, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out. Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.